I'm John Ray. I'm production manager for Scotland Region with Scottish Sea Farms and it basically means I have responsibility for farm salmon in the sea from Oban to Cape Wrath. The aquaculture industry has a threat in the form of sea lice, both for the salmon and actually for the industry itself in terms of how the industry can be seen to be responsibly expanding. Scottish Sea Farms wanted to change the perception of how the industry was viewed and just eliminate sea lice as an issue full stop. The sea lice is an ectoparasite uh, which is found in the sea and it is a specific parasite on the salmon. We're working with a cleaner fish it's called wrasse um, and we're focused on one species called ballon wrasse. That species is particularly good at going in, coexisting with our fish in a farmed environment, successfully existing alongside the salmon as the salmon grow, and through that process they manage to eat off naturally occurring sea lice from the fish. Today we get the majority of those fish from the wild, and in order to generate vaccinated fish on a more sustainable basis, we want to be able to create a farmed situation for RAS that will be available actually to the industry as a whole. Here at Makrohanish, we are using the marine lab to culture the ballon ras, which is a reef fish found around the UK shores. And we have the past two or three years been capturing the wild ballon ras for, for broodstock. The ballon ras are born all female. And at some stage in their life cycle, as they mature into adults, possibly more dominant females do change into a male and he will sort of sire a sort of a whole ring of about maybe you know, 10 or 12 sort of females probably held by two or three subordinate males and that's their sort of hierarchy in the wild. Scottish Sea Farms are working with an academic partner through the Institute of Aquaculture in Stirling and that's really helpful because it's going to create a learning experience for the whole of the industry. We started introducing RAS three years ago. The impact was really good. Everybody kind of started straight away noticing that the, the lice number started to drop and um, only positive results really, you know, I think. We reduced our lice treatments by 80%. At Fishnish we didn't do any bath treatments at all which were targeted for lice. So for us, um, that was a first. The future of Scottish salmon farming is certainly going to be dependent on a sustainable supply of wrasse. The work that's been done in Makrahanish with the breeding of the wrasse is vitally important to our industry. We are continually facing and have faced over the years challenges from sea lice. The RAS give us a really clean, green biological solution to this and it works very well with how we farm the salmon. This is a total win-win situation. Our fish are better off by having this partner in their nets alongside them. It means that we have much lower environmental footprint than we would otherwise have. The medicines bill is reduced and the impact on the environment is reduced. It makes salmon more sustainable. It creates a wonderful welfare dividend for the fish that we farm and this is exactly aligned towards what our customers are looking for and what ultimately what the consumer really expects from Scottish quality salmon.